typically when we do this training in person, uh, we do this next activity to kind of um, guide our thought process around why is this information so important? Who does it impact? And why do I need to care about this as an educator, right? And so I'm gonna kind of guide us through this thought process. And I'm, I highly encourage you to engage in this thinking process along with me so that you can kind of take away and self-evaluate and, and kind of take a look at your workspace and how this shows up for you as well. Okay. So the question or the prompt I want you to consider is how might heterosexual, so straight students, be impacted by homophobia? And don't get caught up on the language too much. A lot of times when we use the word homophobia, we get a little bit defensive, okay? And I just wanna acknowledge the fact that our reality within our society is that we do live in a homophobic culture. What do I mean by that? I mean that our norm is that of a straight mindset. Okay? And so what I want you to consider and I want you to think about is if I'm a straight kid at a public school, what types of activities may I um, refuse to participate in based off of fear? Because if I participate in those things, my other straight friends might give me a label that isn't accurate. Okay? So I'm going to give you one example just to kind of spark the thought process for you if you feel a little bit stuck because I know sometimes it's a little weird kind of thinking about this. One example would be I'm a straight male at my school and I'm very passionate about um, acting and singing but I am so fearful that my friends will call me gay or, or use different types of, of slander names towards me if I participate in the school play because the homophobic cultural norm, the way to view drama in a school, is that it's for either students who identify as gay or bisexual um, if they're a boy, right? Girls can participate in drama and, and be in the plays and do choir and dance and all of those things, but if a boy has to get up on stage and wear tights and dance around, that gives them a certain stigma or a stereotype, okay? So I want you to take a moment, and if it's more comfortable for you to get your scratch paper back out and, and make a list, or if you just want to sit and just ponder and think for a moment within your own self, that's totally fine too. What are some ways within your workspaces that our heterosexual students or youth or adolescents or whatever um, population that you work with, how might they be impacted by our homophobic culture?